and welcome to the Homemade Podcast Sports. This is your host, J Pop. And welcome back to the Homemade Podcast of Sports with your host, Jay Pops. Guys, we got some more breaking news. Also, this is an emergency podcast alert. Uh, first and foremost, my apologies, man. My apologies to all the Aggie fans, but more importantly, my apologies to R.C. Slocum. I have not acknowledged that R.C. Slocum, which was a, a former... Uh, Texas A&M head football coach. Yes, Aggies all around the world know this guy, and even guys that's not Aggies, man, y'all know him. But my apologies to him, as uh, RC has been diagnosed with cancer. Uh, I will not get into uh, what kind of cancer it is because some of that cancer I do not know how to name. I'm not going to lie to you, but uh, he will have to go into chemotherapy. I believe. All right, uh, I don't want to put false information out there, but just go and look at that. Like I said, uh, A&M fans all around the world already know what I'm talking about. But uh, my uh, my my deepest uh, compassion and uh, my um my myself that is uh to RC Slocum the, the the dedication is in the support I'm sorry the support factor uh I'm standing along with Aggie Nation as we all stand beside RC Slocum uh, get well please rest up hashtag be cancer we we have to put that out there guys we have to I'm talking to all and them fans around the world and even guys that's not and them fans we have to put that out there hashtag be cancer uh but breaking news, guys, breaking news, breaking news. As soon as I released that video about the commits that happened uh, over the weekend, uh, of course, we're still in Sunday now. It was another huge commit that happened right after I finished releasing the video. Athlete, which is now linebacker, Ish Harris, four-star, uh, nationally, Want to be exact, nationally, 328, position 37. In the state alone, he is number 48. He's coming from out the state of Texas. We told you guys a year ago that the state of Texas, for this recruiting class in particular, was deep as I don't know what. This is the deepest that it has been for probably over a decade now. This is the deepest. We have by far, with the amount of five and four-star prospects in the top 300, we probably have at least half of that top 300 that's just from the state of Texas alone. I don't know the accurate number on that, but we probably have half. Or we, I know for sure we, pro, I, we most likely have at least 100 guys from the state of Texas alone that's, uh, I'm mixing it up together, that's either a four-star or a five-star. That's just from the state of Texas alone. I'm going to tell you guys that again. That's just from the state of Texas alone. But this guy here is from Pilot Point, Texas. Uh, once again, he committed on yesterday. He put that announcement out there. I did not know that he was going to commit. Uh, I believe that it was just something that he wanted to do on his own. He did not want to let everybody know, so he just announced it. Boom. Here we go. Aggie Nation, where you at? Uh, this guy here, man, we're getting a real good converted linebacker i told you guys i don't know what the hell we're doing on defense but they're they're creating powerhouse on defense that's about to be out this world hashtag keep mike elko we're not losing hashtag keep the entire defensive style hashtag that no we're going to keep them we're going to give them anything they want because that's just what it is we love having those guys, and those guys love being at Texas a and Texas a and has something very, very special going forward for the 2022 cycle and beyond. This season alone will be a very, very special season. Mark my words on that. I've already said that. Uh, now I'm getting uh, comments on Twitter saying, uh, hey, boy, calm down. 
I'm getting everything, but man, we're very excited. I'm very excited. It is about to be a time like no other uh, at Texas a and uh, University. Uh, for one thing, man, me, when my excitement comes out, I get everybody in my household excited. My kids stay excited when football season comes on. Uh, my wife stays excited because I talk to her every day. I even now have my own family members uh, that's, you know, in, in other parts of Texas reaching out to me to say, hey, man, I've been watching the show and you got me looking up recruiting now. Yeah, man, it's serious. It's serious to the Aggie Nation. I love all sports. All sports were, will get uh, my full support on everything. It's just football in particular. It's what I know best. All right. I will do my best, though, to get all Aggie sports recognized, not just only football. But that is breaking news, guys. Ish Harris. Also, I want to name another guy uh, that's scheduled to commit on today. Let me go to these scheduled uh, commits. He is scheduled to commit on today. His name is Jahi Campbell. He's from IMG Academy. Uh, he will be committing, I think, around either 3 or 4 o'clock. I believe it's going to be 4 o'clock down there in Florida, of course, because they're hour ahead. It'll be 3 o'clock here. So be looking for that announcement. As of right now, right now, his predictions is uh, landing towards Clemson. They have that on like 100%. In my mind, I don't know why I feel this way. I feel that guy will surprise a lot of people. So Aggie Nation... Just be watching out for that. I'm not going to say that that's a certified thing that, oh, well, you said he was going to commit. No, I did not say that. I said he could surprise a lot of people. Be watching out for that. He's an edge rusher, top 150, uh, nationally 143, position 7 in the state alone. He's number 18. Once again, Jaheed Campbell, edge rusher from IMG Academy. Understand that we're now going into IMG. We're on full brinks. This 2022 class is something serious. They're trying. Ain't no trying. Let me rephrase that. They're about to make history. I'm going to repeat that again. They're about to make history. Also, with that commitment that we landed on yesterday, Texas and them now sits at the number six class in a 247 uh, sports ranking. The class above us is Florida State. Believe not. It's in the podcast about Florida State, though. But they're above us at number five. Just know that we're coming for that number one spot. We're not BSing around. We're coming for that number one spot. Also, before I get up out of here, uh, and you guys should tune in on tomorrow for this intriguing topic here of conversation. But it is something that I need to talk about. So I put out something out there yesterday that said, uh, will the Aggies, uh, will the Aggie football team be able to get something in three years, which is specifically a national title? Do you guys see the Aggies winning? Even if you're a rival or not, give me the truth answer. So a lot of people gave me a lot of feedback on that, man. It's a lot of people, so I thank you all for that. It gave me a lot of feedback. One guy in particular, man, I told you I've been following this little young fella, and I love his leadership. You guys need to start paying attention to his leadership. It's Bobby Taylor. 2022 four-star cornerback commit Bobby Taylor from uh, out of uh, Katy, Texas. He come in and said this here. We are going to win it. And that's it. We are going to win. No, no, no. Let me rephrase that. He said, we will. Case closed. That's it. We will. Case closed. That's leadership. I love that confidence. And that's leadership. That is leadership. Be tuned in on tomorrow because I will talk about that young man specifically and his leadership that he is already bringing to the team that's already on the field now into the class that's coming in with him. That's leadership. Also, another one is Donovan Green. Tight end Donovan Green. That's leadership. Y'all ain't hearing me when I'm speaking that. That's leadership. Donovan Green, offensively. 
leadership. Bobby Taylor, defensive leadership. And that's all I have for right now. That's all I have for right now. Guys, I thank you guys for tuning in. I thank all of you guys. Please, if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button and click that bell to get all of the reminders. This is breaking news, people. That's all I'm saying. Hashtag Gigamax. And thank you guys for tuning in to the Hashtag Homemade Podcast Sports. Please, guys, uh, subscribe to the YouTube page and also follow me on Twitter at JPops, on Instagram at JPops, and also on Facebook at Hashtag Homemade Podcast Sports. Thank you guys once again. Hashtag Gigamax.